Good afternoon and welcome to this Training 20. Now this is a mobility session for the full body, so I want you to join me down on your knees like so first of all. Sit your bum back onto those heels and if you can, sit right back on them and just feel that initial stretch. If you can't, you're just going to use your hands to ease yourself back to feel that stretch in the initial quads. Now, it has been a while, it's been like two months since I've done one of these sessions. Um, I've been wanting to get back to it for a while, but I've been really busy since things have got more back to normal than they were. So looking to continue these when I can. So I'm no longer going to put them up, um, put up a schedule for each week. I'm just going to try and squeeze them in when I can. Um, so I'm not expecting too many people to tune in live, but what you can do is, as well as tune in live, is as soon as I've finished this video, I'll upload it straight into YouTube, so you'll be able to find it there too. Um, with that said, let's get straight into this um, ability session. So I want you to, if you can, sit right back. We're going to take our hands behind and lean fully back and try and stretch out those quads. Just holding back here like so. To this position. Feeling that stretch on the quads. If it gets too uncomfortable either on your quads or on your feet at any point, you can bring yourself forward and just ease off again here. If you're okay, let's carry on here like so. At any point, just ease yourself out of it. What I'm going to do now is take one forearm down to the floor and reach over with this arm here, furthering that stretch, feeling that stretch on the back as well as a twist over. With a big stretch, feeling that hip flexor pull across there as well. I'm just going to hold here. Again, at any point if you're struggling with any of these exercises, but especially with this one, and ease yourself out of any of them, give yourself a second. And if we're still in it, then come back. Otherwise, we can wait until we've moved on to the next one. So we're gonna come up and take it over to the other side. Again, just leaning back, relaxing into this stretch and just holding here. And then bring it forwards. I'm going to come onto all fours, just going to arch the back, look forwards, if anything, look upwards, creating that big arch in the back. And then we're going to tuck the head round the back and into this round position here. Just pushing away, pushing the floor away from you into this position. And then we're going to arch again using the hips. And shoulders to do so. And again, tuck and round. Breathe through it and back into that arch position. Head up, really trying to emphasize the arch in the back and back into that round. I'm going to go one more of each here, so arch the back one more time. And then we'll tuck it up. Cool. Once you've been one, you up to the side like so. Now as you can see, my hand is, my foot is level with my hands. If you're a bit further back, that's fine. All I want you to do is get that foot flat like so. All we're going to do here. Drop that back knee backwards as far as it will go. Relax the foot, so we're now into this strider stretch here. Do your best to get into this position. We're looking to maintain a relatively flat back, lowering that knee and foot as high as you can up to the side while this foot's relaxed. And with the knee, inch back as far as you can get it. Now from this position here, we're gonna be constantly, but gently driving the hips down into the floor yeah, like so, so you really feel that stretch in the hip while it's holding this position. What we're going to do from here is keep our fingers and toes down, so the toes and fingers stay down as we shift the bum backwards. So now we're going to start to feel, as the bum goes back, start to feel that stretch on the hamstring, really effective hamstring stretch. Just driving the back, the bum 
backwards and slightly upwards if you can and holding here then we're going to sink forwards back into that strider stretch driving those hips downwards into that strider position and again back we go feel it in that hamstring big stretch down that hamstring there Forwards again, into that strider. And then back into that hamstring stretch. And we'll swap it over there. So exactly the same here, bring that foot up to the side, dropping that fat knee backwards and relaxing the foot, and then driving those hips down to the Floor, feeling that stretch in the hip. Again, from here, keeping those big, big toe and the fingers down, we're shifting our hips backwards and slightly upwards if you can, keeping those fingers and toes in contact with the ground and feeling that stretch all down this other hamstring here. Holding this position. and then sink it back forward into that big stride stretch. We'll take it back again. Feel that hamstring stretch. And then forwards into that strider. Take it back once more. And then forwards. Cool, nice one. All right, from here, we're gonna take the knees nice and wide, as wide as you can get them. You're gonna relax the feet and bring the big toes together behind, like in this frog stretch here. Then you're gonna sit the bum back, maintaining, we don't wanna be rounding at the hips, so we don't wanna sit back too much so we start to round on our, maintain this position here, as you slowly push those hips back, Big stretch on the hips and groin in here, and just maintain that position. And from here, I like to slowly take the hands out forwards, trying to just take the back down, try not to lose the hips at all, and just main, drop down your chest down into this position here. And I feel that more on the hips as you take it down. You can take your head right down to the floor, you're going to keep those arms up straight. You should be able to feel a bit of a stretch on the shoulders as well. I keep these arms out straight and in front of you like so. And then we're going to bring it up. Now if again, if you need to ease out of this, if it's too uncomfortable at any point, then please do so. But again, we're going to take it down. This time we're going to make sure our hands go straight out again, drive that chest down. I feel that stretch in the lats and shoulders. From here, I want you to maintain one hand up, keep it there while the other hand goes through the side like so. So now we're in this position, reaching with this hand and this hand as we're just holding this stretch here. You'll feel it pull on one side of the groin a bit more because we're reaching through this way over the opposite side. So just hold this position here. And then bring it back to neutral. Drop that chest down, head down, and then we're going to walk it back up. And then again, we're going to go back down, reach with both hands out. Once you feel that big old stretch again, this hand goes through the other side, and we'll hold through, reaching through with both hands here. And then bring it 
back through. And give the hips a little rest, so I need to walk it back up. Bring your knees back together. And then we're going to bring it into our press up position here. You're going to bring one knee as high up as you can in the middle of the hand. The foot kicks through, and then we rest that back knee down. Relax the foot and sink back. You should be feeling it on this glute right here. I don't want you to be rounded over yet. I have to sit up straight. You can use your hands to prop yourself up and hold you in position here. And just feel that glute stretch. And then from here, I do want you to bring it down to the forearms. Centralize that knee, driving your chest down into that knee. Again, feeling, you can adjust yourselves personally to feel it more or less on the glute. Find where you feel it the most. So hold this position right here. And then you can take those hands out, reach forwards, chest down. And then hold this position like so. We're going to bring it back up, back into that press up position, and simply bring that other knee through, kick the foot through, relax the back leg down, sink it back, and feel that initial glute stretch on this side whilst propping yourself up like so. Hold this position, feel that glute stretch and then you can bring it down onto those forearms once more here like so. Hold that position, feel that glute stretch, like I said again, adjust it for yourselves if you can feel it more or in a different position. And then when you're ready, you can take both arms out again, really drive that chest down onto that leg. You can feel that stretch. And then bring it back up. Back onto your hands and knees. We're going to return to that knees, super wide position, big toes together. Sink back here. Feel that hip stretch once more. And again, we're going to take those arms out in front. Drive the chest down here like so. Back into that position we were in earlier. Now this time we're going to focus on the lats. So you're going to take one hand all the way over to one side, the other hand comes across and on top, and then this armpit here comes down to the floor as best you can, like so. So you really feel that stretch on the lat on that side there. So hold this position here, driving that armpit down, trying to keep these arms relatively straight as you feel that stretch on the lat as well as on the hip and groin, and just hold that position. And then we'll take the hands back to the middle and over to the other side. Drive that armpit down to the floor and hold that stretch. Back into the middle, we're going to do both sides again. So over to this side again. Armpit goes down, feel that stretch on the lap. Back to the middle, once more on the other side. Back to the middle, walk those hands in, rest off those hips, give them a bit of a breather. That. We're going to bring it onto one knee. And all we're going to do from here is arch and tuck the hips, or arch and tuck the back. So see I'm arching here by tucking the hips away. And I tuck the hips in and feel that stretch on that hip flexor as I do so. 
So arch and tuck, arch and tuck, arch and tuck. And then holding that tuck position, I'm going to be reaching over and extending that hip flexor. So I'll show you facing you, you carry on as you work. Once you've tucked those hips, extending this hip flexor by reaching over like so and holding that position there, feeling that stretch down here. And then you can relax that off. We're going to swap legs. We're going to arch, tuck, arch, tuck. Just get used to that motion of the hips. Really important and useful thing to practice. Arch, tuck and hold. Feel that stretch on that hip flexor as we hold that position. And then when you're ready, again, take this arm to extend that stretch further. Feel it down the quad and right into that hip flexor here as you extend the body over from the torso. Breathe through it, trying to relax into it as best you can. We're going to bring it back, we're going to go back to the other side and do the same again here. So now you've had that practice, you've had to take it straight into a big tuck. Feel that stretch here initially. And then we're going to take that arm over and reach here. Swap knees once more, take it back onto the second side, big tuck with those hips, feel that initial hip flexor stretch, take that arm up and over, we feel that stretch once more. And then relax it back down. I'm gonna, you're gonna bring it onto your hands and knees again. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take it into a press-up position like so. And then we're going to drive the hips up into a downward dog. Now you can see I've bent my legs slightly to try and get a flatter back rather than being locked out here. But then all I'm going to have to do is take your feet a bit closer together. We're going to walk out the feet like so. So we're feeling that stretch down those calves. So walking out the feet, driving those heels down towards the floor whilst holding this position. Really feeling that stretch in the calves, like so. I just want you to keep this going here. Whilst you're doing so, I want you to keep your arms straight, driving that chest downwards as best you can. So you're still trying to maintain the integrity, the integrity of the downward dog while stretching out those calves. And then from here, we're going to bring the hips down and we're going to take the chest up, the head up into this cobra position like so. You can relax off the feet at the back, back up to the ceiling and just hold this position. Feel that stretch of the core. And just hold this position here. Then we're going to prop back onto those toes, drive those hips back up into that initial downward dog position, really drive that chest to your toes and feel that initial position. And then again, I want to walk out those feet, big stretch out in those calves. You can spend more time in the stretch or you can just keep walking them. That's totally up to you. But just working out those calves, any tension you're carrying in there. Trying to drive those heels down into the floor. And then again, we're going to bring those hips down, transition into that down, into that cobra position here as best you can. Locking up, keeping the arms as straight, lock, lock the arms out if you can, if you can't, keep it as straight as possible so you really feel that stretch on that core, open up that torso. We're going to do one more of this pair to finish off. So once more, let's drive those hips up into that A-frame downward dog position. 
really stabilize that position first feel it in the shoulders and back and then begin to walk those feet out stretching out those calves alternating sides Final time here, giving those calves a nice stretch, driving those heels down into the floor, and then we'll transition back into that cobra, chest up, arms locked out, core stretched, whilst looking up. And then relax there, well done, cool. So, Back to it with these training 20s, I'll do it as much as I can, but like I said, they'll be here and there and everywhere, but like, but you can catch them all on my uh, YouTube channel, so please check that out, and there's loads on there for you to kind of go through as well. Um, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you next time.